Hi, it's another gorgeous day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. I am on Tipu Run, and Tipu Run is named after this tree. This is a Tipu, or a Tipa. Its Latin name is Tipuana Tipu. It is the only member of the genus Tipuana. It's also named Tipa, Rosewood, Yellow Jacaranda, or Yellow Jacaranda, and the Pride of Bolivia. Now it sort of looks like the tropical Hawaiian monkey pod tree. Now this is native to South America from Bolivia to Brazil to Argentina. And so let's take a closer look at our beautiful yellow flowering tipu. If you plan to grow these at your home, you'll need a warm environment with full sun. They're relatively drought resistant, so you do not need much water. They're not picky about soil, but they do prefer soil on the acidic side. The trunk is large and the roots spread out quite aggressively. So make sure you have adequate space from your sidewalks or your driveways. So in just 10 to 15 years, it can reach 30 feet high. At full maturity, it can even reach 50 feet high and 30 feet wide. Now some in South America are known to be at least 100 feet high. The largest tipu in California is in Galito Valley and he stands about 55 feet tall and 113 feet wide. Its trunk is 197 inches. The leaves of this tree are pinnately compound and you'll notice there is a main stem and on the main stem you have little opposite stems which break out and on the opposite stems are the leaves and the leaves themselves alternate very closely together up the, up the secondary stem to the end where you have a terminal leaf. The flowers of the tree are a very bright yellow. This is July, so they're starting to fall from our beautiful tree. These here are New Gold Lantana. They're also very bright yellow, and they help um, augment the beautiful yellow flowers we have in the tree. Here is the fruit from our Tipuanu Tipu. It is a legume. You'll see it has a seed, then it has this very flat wing. Acts like a rotor from a helicopter. So as it falls from the tree, it will spin around like a helicopter rotor to help fly through the air and disperse throughout the environment. Now in Southern California, we don't have to worry about this germinating because the conditions are much too dry. But in South America, in many countries, it's considered invasive where the conditions are wetter and much more positive for this seed to germinate. So let's uh, throw it up in the air and see if it flies. All right. There we go. That's our legume. So it does get quite large. It requires an adequate space for its canopy and its root system. It's mostly known as a shade tree with a terrific canopy for your yard or your garden. Now in most climates, it's a deciduous tree and it sheds all of its leaves each year. It can live in conditions down to 25 degrees Fahrenheit. The timber is a whitish in color, strong and fibrous, and you cut the logs, they will ooze a blood red resin. Now, since it's such a fast grower, you can also train it, you train the branches into the structures that you want to create. So now I'll give you 19 pros and cons provided by Brandon Miller from his Green Garage blog. So here are the pros. Lots of shade under the canopy. Grows quickly. Beautiful yellow flowers. Kids love to climb them. Very little water compared to other trees its size. Very resilient to weather and soil conditions. Attracts butterflies, wildlife, bees, birds. It's high quality lumber used for cabinets and furniture. And the seeds germinate quickly. But here are the cons. They leave a lot of debris from the flowers and the little helicopter pods. Potentially invasive depending on where you live. They could grow as high as 100 feet, causing constant pruning and balancing risks to the tree. 
the canopy, it might be too large, and then shade your entire garden. They attract an insect pest called a tipu psyllid. This may be good, by the way, because it attracts lots of birds that like to eat this pest. Its branches can be weak, causing some hazards that require constant pruning. It has a very aggressive root system that can uplift sideways, sidewalks, driveways, and walls, even your house's foundation. If environmental conditions change, like you get less sunlight or drought or poor soil, then there's a lot of work you need to do to offset the problems. Now, some people are allergic to lumber, and this requires shallow planting, which requires more tenants by the owner. It does not allow grass or other plantings around it until the tree matures. Those are our 19 pros and cons. And I'll let you decide what you think is best. Took you down the entire street of Tipu Run. Beautiful yellow Tipuana Tipu. Have a great day.